Hello everyone. This video I'm going to present to you my top five favorite podcasts. I'm not going to set them up in any uh, rank, but top five nonetheless. Um, and uh, I guess uh, in the uh, current uh, day and age, we're all influenced a lot by what we consume uh, through uh, the internet, right? And a significant portion of that for a, lot, uh, for a lot of people are podcasts. You know, something is something almost as informational as books. Uh, or sometimes it contains that much content, you know, and, and perhaps it's, uh, it's a better source of entertainment than alternatives. <laughs> So I'm up, uh, So before going to the uh, top five list, um, I'm just gonna uh, mention a couple that are like you know mm, that that just didn't make the cut, you know. But but I, I still uh, watch them occasionally. Here is uh, Tom Wood show. Uh, you know a political uh, talk show podcast, and uh, yeah, you guys should check it out. Uh, um, he has various guests on, but uh, the, he is a, he takes a political viewpoint, um, libertarian viewpoint, I should say. And uh, this one on the right um, is the uh, media project of the Mises Institute, right? And sometimes you can see a podcast uh, up there uh, made by its uh, president, uh, Jeff Deist. Uh, he's a He's a really good speaker. You guys should check out some of his uh, uh, speeches, lectures. And here's another two I want to mention before getting to the top five list. Uh, Tinfoil Hat with Sam Tripoli. And uh, and when he gets Eddie Bravo on on, uh, on his podcast, um, yeah, they uh, it's, uh, it would be a really good episode because, uh, you know, you can just um, see uh, Eddie Bravo going off with some of his ideas, you know, that he doesn't get to do elsewhere, you know, uh, fascinating dudes. Um, and the and the guy on the right, um, he hosts the London Rail podcast. Another decent one. I watch this uh, less often, but sometimes he's got a really good uh, guests on. And uh, one one interview I enjoyed in particular was when he had uh, Graham Hancock on. Really good uh, interview. Really good. You guys should check that out. And now we get to the top five list. Now, uh, the first one is the Part of the Problem podcast. This is a stand-up comedian and a political activist, too, or a political pundit, you could say, uh, Dave Smith. Um, yeah, um, he's, he's got some interesting uh, episodes sometimes, and... Um, Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to mention about this top five list. This is my top five based on today, right? Today is um, August 8th that I'm working on this. I don't know if this is going to be the case after you know, a couple months or after a year, but to this day and year, this is my top five list. All right, so that's uh, part of the Problem Podcast by Dave Smith. The next one is... Peter Schiff show, and uh, now it, you know if you want a uh, somewhat a lucid um, perception of of the economic situation of uh, of the United States, yeah, check out his podcast. You know, he uh, um, and uh, also check out his appearance on Joe Rogan episode ten oh two that I uh, often uh, recommend uh, it was it was uh, it was really good um, it was really educational I found so the next one is of course uh, Joe Rogan experience and perhaps I mean he's got like nine million subscribers so it's already a big thing uh, I don't think uh, he needs me to, to test that but but you know, I think uh, Joe Rogan has influenced me in, in, in more ways than one. You know, my uh, perspective of the world, my 
my consideration on some particular things and you know like uh, you know i got i got into judo which i haven't done since march i think because of uh, joe rogan and uh, i've also got into uh, uh, entheogens psychedelics also because of joe rogan you know and i probably got into the mary jane because of joe rogan as well you know it's just it's just the uh, um uh the personality that he presents you know it's just uh it's just uh personable uh, i don't know if that's the word uh you know, it, it, it resonates you know it resonates in some way he's successful but yet I, I guess you could say he's humble you know he's not yeah but i don't know how he would be in person but it'd just be an honor to meet him though to meet i mean to meet any of these podcasters for me all right so the next one now, this is one of uh, Joe's friends, and uh, I got into this podcast much more recently, but uh, I've seen uh, his episode with uh, uh, Jordan Peterson, uh, Uriah Faber. Um, uh, I got started on Bill Burr, I think. Um, there was a couple other people. Uh, yeah, but, uh, oh, Jocko, but I found him, uh, good at, uh, interviewing people, you know, because, uh, what you want in a person that does podcasting is to be able to interview the person in a way that he can relate to them, you know, that they step outside of their, uh, formalities and present themselves as a person, you know, and, and Tio is able to do that because he tries to relate to the person he's uh, talking with. And uh, you can perhaps get a sense of that vibe just by hearing and listening to it. Or hearing and watching it. So the next podcast um, is uh, Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. And he hosts this podcast with a, with a guy named uh, Evan Burton. They got really good chemistry together. And actually, when Mike Tyson appeared on uh, Joe Rogan, I think he could really sense the absence of Evan there, you know. It should have been the three of them, you know. I think it would have been a much better episode. And, um, but I mean, Mike Tyson, after he's done the toad, he's a really changed man, you know. And he, and he, and he acknowledges that. And even Eben said, you know, hanging out with uh, Mike Tyson is like being with a old wise sage, you know. And uh, sometimes when Mike uh, lights up the lights up the lettuce and and starts going on going off about things, you know, you could really sense that he's spitting a lot of wisdom, you know. No matter how, you know, no matter what, what way you look at, if you are to just consider. Uh, you know, if you're able to try to conceptualize, try to uh, grasp some of the deep emotional talk and the deep truths of uh, consciousness, I mean, he is, he is wise, you know, he is wise. And I think, uh, however he was before, he's really, um, Changed or changed around the direction of the boat, I think. And to me, since uh, I'm in my 20s, I don't know much about Mike Tyson as a boxer, you know. All I know, I know more Mike Tyson as played in one movie, Hip Man 3, and then Mike Tyson as a podcaster, you know. And both of these guys are, or in both of these cases, this man just presents. A good character overall, you know. So I don't, I don't really know about Mike Tyson uh, from from past. But anyways, that's that's what I had to present in this video. Um, hope you get to check. Uh, hope you get to check out some of what you weren't aware of there. And uh, they're all decent podcasts. Give them a consideration, and uh, perhaps you could learn something from them too. And maybe even subscribe. Uh, as, as, as for this, uh, channel, um, 
keep uh, if you get to this video keep uh, supporting the channel and like the button and subscribe and and uh, now even though this is all being done on a Chromebook and the audio sucks but the thing is if you jack up your headphones you could uh, you could uh, make out what I'm saying but most importantly um, it's the content you know if you find the content unique and uh, and some of it educational some of it uh, thought-provoking engaging it I mean um, if the content itself uh, judged by itself um, is scoring on those points then you should uh, you should consider sticking around you know because these are the sorts of videos that this channel will intend to uh, uh, provide present present all right peace